Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, July 18th. And we got some pretty impressive heat coming up. We missed out on the rain, and that's kind of disappointing for some. But if you're a uh, kernel of wheat, that was good news. That means you got a chance to get harvested, or certainly a lot of it did. And we expect quite a bit more to get harvested again, as our next real opportunity for rain is going to be with a uh, push of extremely warm air that comes this way. And that'd be for Wednesday night, Thursday morning, as it looks right now. Still plenty of questions as to where the uh, rain and how much rain may fall. And if you were corn, sugar beets, or soybeans, well, this is probably your expression this morning. You were probably hoping to get some of that rain, and hopefully we will. We're going to need that rain because we got, again, some very, very intense heat heading towards the Great Lakes. If we look at the uh, headlines again, the European model would get us uh, some very sizzling temperatures with temperatures in the Breckenridge area in the 90s for Wednesday, Thursday, up around 100 degrees for Friday and Saturday before that front drops us back down towards 90 and then we'll cool down a bit and then we'll warm right back up later on next week as it looks right now you can see Blissfield a high of 102 degrees on the European now it is to be noted that the GFS is about four degrees cooler and it would bring the front down so we'd have temperatures only around 90 on Saturday but the European is very insistent on Saturday or Friday and Saturday being extremely hot days with temperatures again very warm dew points up around or over 70 would give us heat, uh, heat indexes between 100 and 110 if this were to materialize. And again, we'll keep an eye on that. That's going to be the big story here as we go through the week. If we look at our normals for the day, the normal high is 85, our normal low is 60. And if we look at the uh, next map, you can see precipitation uh, from yesterday, nothing across the area, temperatures mainly in the low to mid 80s. Again, we'll be more comfortable today and tomorrow with temperatures dropping down uh, around 80 to the uh, low 80s, but certainly dew points will become more comfortable here as we go through the day today into tomorrow before that warm and humid air moves back in around midweek. Current temperatures across the area, mainly in the uh, low to mid 70s across the region. Again, cooler air coming in from the northwest. And if we look at the Great Lakes, you can see that with the uh, low wind flow out of the southwest ahead of that front to the northwest behind it and cooler temperatures down around 60, even some 50 showing up. But more importantly, uh, much lower dew points and humidities uh, will be arriving here for later on today. And you can see on the uh, Midwest surface map, uh, the low-level wind flow across the uh, southern part of the uh, Ohio Valley. There's the clash zone right here. We've got the southern uh, warm breezes coming up. And then across the uh, north, we got a northwest flow. Where that drier and that cooler, the warmer and cooler air meet, activity across the Ohio Valley is where the thunderstorms are this morning. You can see that on radar. Uh, if we, whoops, we didn't get that shifted over. I apologize for that. Let's see if we can't move that over real quick here. And you can see that area of thunderstorms off to the south, again, along that boundary where the cooler air is trying to press in and the warmer air coming up from the south. Again, parts of south, uh, east lower Michigan clipped uh, a couple of hundreds to six hundredths of an inch at Jasper and Blissfield this morning. And if we look at the uh, next screenshot here, you can see our moisture uh, compared to normal. Not too bad for July, with the exception of Wago St. Thomas is very dry, and they continue to be very dry, these four areas. Uh, basically, uh, Lansing, Tupperville, Breckenridge, London, New Wago, and St. Thomas, uh, really only a half to two-thirds of the normal rainfall for the last two and a half months. So very, very dry. We can certainly use rain. And this is something we talked about, uh, the uh, problems with getting uh consistent rainfall when you rely on cold fronts uh, they just aren't that reliable versus what we saw the last few years with a lot of systems moving up from the south right towards the state giving us nice overrunning warm conveyor belt rains again we're relying mostly on cold fronts and again they're uh, usually more hit and miss as we've seen yesterday missing out on the rain that we really thought might happen on the forecast map this morning you can see that uh, cool front that will be moving through the area and I call it the cool front because we're just going to drop down to near normal conditions and as we look at the uh, weather map for Tuesday, our next weather maker well off to the west, and that weather maker will be in the form of a warm front that's going to be pressing into the state here as we get later in the week. And out ahead of that warm front, we will have a chance for rain and thunderstorms. Again, probably Wednesday night and Thursday morning. By Wednesday morning, that front is just off to our southwest. There'll be storms developing along it. And again, it'll move off to the northeast as we get into Thursday. And especially Friday, Saturday, we'll be underneath the core of high pressure system as that heat ridge tries to press our way. It's not going to be terribly successful for very long. We're going to be on the northern fringes where it tries to get beaten down. But again, that's not all bad news. That means we'll at least have opportunities for rain across the uh, central and northern Great Lakes. 
As far as how hot it's been, you can see some of the 90 degree days, Breckenridge Jasper at five, Blissville at four, and Middleton at three. Uh, this time next week, we should add at least two, maybe as much as four or five uh, to these numbers. So a very hot period coming up. And again, once again, here's the uh, forecast of temperatures for later on this week into the weekend. So if you get plans to go up north, it's going to be a great time to do that or be by the pool. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.